Okay, so we were just looking at uh, the Google AdWords Keyword Tool, which you can find by going to Google AdWords Keyword, and then you can put whatever word in there. We were looking at golf before, we're now weddings. Um, advanced options, we chose the location as Australia, but it's usually automatically set to the US. And then what we've done is clicked on search, and it's brought up, now if we go back to the standard setting which is broad so if you're going to create a website on weddings and you're thinking okay well what am I going to write about what are people actually searching for what are they interested in so that if it's a, a blog post or whether it's a page on your site people might find and and put links back to the site uh, so if we look at weddings then you can see oh and what I've also done is clicked on this and clicked on estimated average that's cost per click so that we've had this column added over on the side as well just to see what the difference is between different words so you can look at the broad terms which which brings up like a lot more searches than something like a, a phrase search so we'll click on that now so, so the phrase search is looking at a particular phrase. And then you've got the exact match, which is looking at exact words in the exact order. And you can see when we look at the exact searches, if you wanted to be, you know, really specific, if it was really important to you, because it's going to depend on what kind of niche you've got, what kind of website you've got, whether you do broad, exact, or, or, or phrase. Um, but exact, I suppose, in a way, is kind of like the, the worst case scenario. So this is the local monthly searches in Australia. So this is how many searches you would have if your website was number one for that keyword. Right? Um, so if we have a look down here, we can see you know wedding dresses is obviously really high, but it's also got high competition as opposed to wedding songs which has fairly low competition. So that could be a good page if you really just wanted backlinks to your site to write a page about wedding songs um, and then people who are looking for wedding songs for their wedding can backlink to your site and, and that can help to increase the rankings of the overall site. Um, however, if you wanted to do Google AdWords, if you were looking to you know create a site where people came and then clicked on some ads then you can see for wedding songs it's only playing 26 cents whereas something like um, wedding photography it's got a lot more competition which means it's going to be harder for people to find it and it's got about half the searches but it also generates a lot more revenue and if we look down the page as well if you then become a bit more specific wedding photography Sydney less searches but still quite a high ranking and then what have we got down here wedding planner which is higher less searches but again more competition so it really just kind of depends on on what you're looking for um, and if you look at some of the ones with low competition but with a high cost per click then that might be you know a really good way of, of working out what to write about I mean down here we've got so we've got some sites that have lower competition. Yeah, I mean in this particular niche, the ones that have the high cost per click tend to have high competition as well. But sometimes, you know, that's not the case. So it's just a matter of having a look and trying to work out for your particular site what words people are actually searching for, which is often very different to what you would search for yourself if you were looking for something in particular. So I hope that that's been useful and um, this is the last in the optimization series but if there's something that you would like a video on to do with optimization then obviously please do uh, post a note there and, and I'll endeavor to do something about that. Okay thanks a lot, bye.